Hello everybody, this is Cesar and today I just wanted to show you some of the tools that have, I have just received from Crimson Guitars. Let me say a few words about Crimson Guitars. Uh, ben Crimson is a master luthier based in the UK and he has a YouTube channel. Uh, I will put a link there, but he is a relatively very well known guy, right? and he makes nice guitars but he also has his own tools and those are handmade the, the tools that you see here are basically built but uh, well for working reasons i live very far away from the uk so i had the tools delivered to my parents house and i picked them up during my uh, annual leave this year uh, the tools came in this cardboard cylinder it took them like a couple of days, uh, three days, three business days to deliver them to my parents' house. They came safe and very well packed. Individually, each one of them is uh, wrapped in this paper right, and with this kind of red lace. And I think this is uh, a sample of the attention to the detail that Ben and his team have. Uh, so now I will go roughly and briefly through each one of the tools and after that we will do a price comparison with similar tools from uh, Stuart McDonald's and then you can basically uh, take your own conclusions. I'm going to use these tools in several videos to fix some guitars and to, to, to repair some guitars so we will go more in detail uh, in those videos. Here you have the notch straight edge the notch straight edge is useful for understanding the neck condition and it is having two different scales in order for you to be able to use it in guitars with kind of Gibson scale, guitars with kind of Fender scale. Right? Here you see three files. The two on the right hand side are used for fret endings and this one here is used for uh, the fret dressing and basically for for the fret crowning. Mm -hmm. uh, those tools uh, have a couple of very specific characteristics that we will see when we will use them uh, in fret level in fret dressing processes. Mm -hmm. Here you have the fret rocker and you, you use this to understand you have a high fret along your finger board. Those four, let's call them erasers, are for polishing the frets and you, they go from coarse to super fine. They are really very good. They do a very good job. And here is the fret leveling file. This is a very good tool. It's a tool that is very well made and if you look to the back of the tool it has a trash rod kind of trash rod so it allows you to make sure that the, the, the leveling part is always perfectly flat so those are, those are the tools these are the tools that I have ordered and now let's look at the latest Stuart McDonald catalog and let's see how Ben Crimson is in pricing versus Stuart McDonald. Hold on for a second. So this is the last issue I have for Stuart McDonald is the May 2015 one. And according to the May 2015 prices, if we go and look for page number 16 here, right? Page number 16 here, you see the not straight edge here, right? And the not straight edge in Stuart McDonald, if you buy it at Stuart McDonald, you are paying for guitars 81.76, right? uh, 81.76 US dollars. I have paid for the Ben Crimson one, and it's a really very good product, solid one, you know, very well made with the two scales. I have paid 45 roughly US dollars. I paid uh, I paid it in pounds because because Ben Crimson is from the UK. 
Uh, but we are talking here about 45 US dollars versus 81.76. So I think that the Ben Crimson one is really very good value for your money. Mm? Again, 45 US dollars in Crimson guitars, 81.76 US dollars in uh, Stuart Magnano. If we look to another of the tools, for example, the Fred Rocker here, uh, uh, you would be paying 25.18 US dollars if you buy it as Stuart McDonald. And if you buy it at Crimson Guitars, here it is, the Fred Rocker from Crimson Guitars. Again, very solid one. I like very much the construction. You are going to be paying 19.45, 19.45. 45. So all in all, I guess that uh, if you look to the pricing differences, you can conclude that uh, the tools from Ben Crimson, from Crimson Guitars, are really very good value for money. I have to make here a disclaimer. I don't endorse Crimson Guitars by any way, shape or form. I don't receive any money from them. Uh, I am simply a satisfied customer and I have to say it that they are also very nice people. So this is my take on these tools from Crimson Guitars. Um, see you very soon and please don't forget to keep on playing guitar. Bye!